Sure, sure, sure. Valentine's came. <laughs> Valentine's came and went. Eh? And you guys didn't do anything. Not even one sunflower. I, I really told you. I, I told you clearly that, oh, I love sunflowers, you know. And I thought someone was just going to say, oh, Tashinga, um, I got you sunflowers. Musadar. But anyway, I'll keep a positive mindset. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Tashinga. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for joining us today. Apparently, I'm filming in the night, and um, yeah, it is what it is. I'll, if the lighting is good, uh, everything is good, I'm gonna, you are going to see this video. But yeah, this is the Got to Know Me tag part. To... I'm so sorry I didn't reply to your uh, comments from the last video because I was being tempted to just answer the question heels or flats like to give you the correct answer yet I told you guys that I'll tell you the answer in my next video which is today so yeah I was like everyone who answered everyone who actually replied got it correct it's definitely heels finally asked people on instagram to ask me questions and they did they came through so without wasting much time i don't want this video to be too long let's get right into the video so yeah guys i did ask people on instagram and they came through so i have my questions and i put them on my ipad and i'm going to um just there a lot so if i end up not asking one of them or any question that someone asked sorry okay but i'll ask and you guys you guys really want to know something you guys want to know you you guys want <laughs> the things you guys want to know but yeah it is okay i'm just going to do a lot so i'll go through uh the questions and all that um so the first one says not a question but i love your content Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that. Uh, and then someone says, what inspires your content? Okay, I would say that um, what inspires my content is my why. As in the reason why I started the channel is what inspires my content. And that the reason is I wanted to speak my mind and I wanted to grow together with everyone who's going to get in touch with my content so that is basically what inspires my content my urge to want to grow together with people like i want everyone to grow together so that inspires me every time i want to make a video i'm like okay we are going to if if there's anyone who's going to come into contact either way there's there's some impact that is going to be made yeah i i just hope I, I structured that well um and then uh the other one says do you journal how do you do it i don't consistently journal but i do journal and i just write i just write um i think what i normally do is writing the things i'm thankful for and sometimes the things that i need to see like the things the goals and and all that so that's basic i don't have a routine um when do you graduate i'm graduating in 2022 2022 july there about not a question but keep it it you're going far thank you so much thank you i appreciate that um then the other one says can you do a head drip tutorial video your hair drips are cool. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll try to do a hair drip tutorial. If you want me to do a hair drip tutorial, please let me not, know. Let me know in the description. In the comments. <laughs> in the comments. Uh, in the comments if you want me to, to do a hair drip tutorial. How I tie my, my, my hair drip or duke. The next question says, what shoe size are you? 
okay the person who asked this question is actually my friend and <laughs> they just wanted to get it out there that i have a small foot i'm a size 37 and that's i think size 3 yeah uh and then the next question says not oh not a question but love the authenticity it's the shona words ah hezo for me <laughs> ah hezo <laughs> you know um i i just did that for you the ah hezo but yeah thank you um what makes you happy Uh, I would say what makes me happy is seeing my parents happy if if they tell me they're happy if they tell me um, uh, They're good They're my, first of all I'd say what makes me happy is my family's well-being if they're happy and they're doing great. I'm happy. So that's um, <laughs> Okay, your biggest pet pet peeve your biggest pet peeve, my biggest pet peeve. I could write a book, honestly. But my biggest pet peeve is people who chew out loud. I don't know. Tengo to watch. Oh my god. <laughs> people who chew out loud. Mm -mm. And the other thing, one of my pet peeves is, 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 is people who will constantly tell you not to do something that they're always doing. I don't like that. It annoys me. Anyway, which book are you currently reading? You are really good with reads last time I checked. Okay, right now I'm reading a book by... <laughs> English is not my mother language, you know. I'm reading, I'm reading, uh, Waiting and Dating by Dr. Miles Monroe. That's the book I'm reading. It's a good one. It's a good one. Trust me. Um, what is your favorite scripture? Guys, if you know me too well, which scripture is this? Which scripture is this? Isaiah 45, 2. And I will go before you and make all the crooked parts straight. I'll break down the gates of iron and of bronze. Mm, that's my favorite scripture. Isaiah 45, verse 2. And then the next question says, um, it says, I love your energy, miss. Keep on creating content. Good way to go. Mm, good way to go. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then the other question is, would you date or marry your friend? Why? Okay. <laughs> yes, I would date or marry my friend. The reason is that um, you are supposed to grow a friend into a lover not a lover into a friend the the book i'm currently i'm currently reading uh waiting and dating by dr miles monroe uh he was saying he was saying something about how if you are trying if you are you are looking for a lover uh, then that that relationship is based on feelings and and feelings are just but uh chemicals which can vanish um like they change like the weather but then if you have a friend who's then transitioning into a lover that is based on on a mutual um on a mutual fellowship or friendship that is based on love so i would date or marry my friend if you want the book you can dm me on instagram anywhere anywhere you can get in touch with me i'll get i'll give it to you you should film those solo dates. I'm sure a lot of people will love that. Thank you. Thank you. I'll film them. I'll start filming them. I will. Um, what's your biggest fear? My biggest fear. Okay, my biggest fear is not getting to accomplish that which I'm supposed to accomplish. In other words, not being able to fulfill destiny or living a void, a void life. A life that is meaningless that okay if i die today there's nothing uh 
there's no le legacy there's nothing there's nothing to to show that i lived a life so that's my greatest fear not being able to fulfill destiny not being able to be the person that god wants me to be um hmm. what are your top three goals for this year ah. <laughs> i will not say my top three goals for this year but i'll say three goals okay i hope you guys get it uh, but one of the goals that I have for this year is to become a better version or should I say the best version of myself and to show up for me because I haven't been doing that lately and the other one those are two right the other one is to grow my YouTube channel I it's one of the top uh, goals that I have and please guys help me do that help me do that watch my content share my content please <laughs> okay said, your fashion sense is amazing can you do a lookbook thank you <laughs> thank you so much thank you i will i will do i will do a lookbook i will i will i'll do it for you thank you i will thank you so much um and then how many boyfriends have you had have you dated I was reading from my head. How many boyfriends have you dated? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, you guys think I'm going to say how many? I've dated one guy. Yes. Yes. I've I've dated one one guy. Next question. <laughs> Next question. Um, what's success to you? Success. I would define success as, for me, to me, success is being able to, to be happy after accomplishing my goals. So for, for me, Happiness is when I accomplish my goals and I'm at peace with it. <sighs> Happiness. I would say success is, to me, is uh, getting to fulfill destiny. I've been saying that a lot. But yeah, getting to become, like, yeah, fulfilling destiny brings me so much happiness. And I mean, that's success to me. Success to me is happiness. Being content. Success. Huh? Success. Well, yeah, that entails, uh, well, people, would, most people would expect me to say, oh, when I have money, well, 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 yeah, money comes in, money, yeah, you know, but, okay, the other question, there's this one question, which a lot of people asked, I'm just there like, <laughs> hmm, and then there's this question what do you have to say about sex before marriage okay um what i'd say is that um i i am totally not for it i'm against it i'm against it and i'm i'm i really am an advocate for for celibacy uh not engaging in and, and sexual activities before marriage because we are God's temple we are his holy temple temple and we're supposed to keep ourselves um, holy and pure for him what I'm against is that is the idea of people saying that we have to 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 keep ourselves for our husbands that's traditionally true but i would say that's not scripturally true because we are keep i am keeping myself because i am supposed to keep myself because god told me to keep myself holy and pure for him in as much as my husband will get to you know appreciate that but that's not the whole goal we are not keeping ourselves because of our husbands we are keeping ourselves for God 
because we are vessels that are to be used in this temple and we're supposed to be fit for such use amen <laughs> did i just say amen but yeah that's my take on that thank you for asking um some of the questions are repetitive so i'm trying like i'm trying to look for different ones what is your advice to someone who is struggling to pray how can i pray the last book i read before i read um before i read i started reading waiting and dating as uh the prosperous soul and uh the the writer was talking about how the only way to pray is to pray so if i would tell you anything i would tell you that pray sometimes it gets hard and you don't feel like doing it but there's one friend of mine who always tells me when you feel like today you don't want to do anything related to prayer that's the day you're supposed to pray so when you feel like the least motivated to pray pray so i'd say the only way to pray is pray and sometimes when it's too hard you can call a friend pray over um pray with your friend uh that gives you motivation because especially when they when they are strong at that time in prayer excuse me they are going to help you pray so yeah that's what i can i can say a lot of people ask this question oh hey hmm. a lot of people someone said oh, one friend of mine this one uh he said i think i know everything other than your relationship status then someone says who is your boyfriend hmm. and then someone says relationship status yeah. and then someone says tell us who the man is <laughs> and then someone said who is your boyfriend that person has to be lucky oh hmm. and then someone says who is your boyfriend girl with the lls and then someone says tell us who your boyfriend is and then someone says who is your boyfriend and what's your age difference <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of questions that are written that people ask that are in relation to boyfriend relationship boyfriend relationship boyfriend <laughs> that happens to be the last question actually actually and i'll answer you i miss it upon <laughs> the person is none other than none other than if you're looking at my nails i'm sorry yeah i said it in the last video that i do bite my nails and amaita shinga this is grape apple pomegranate <laughs> blended fruit juice and you see near grape i mixed it with grape juice as well it's non-alcoholic 100 percent juice are my touching this is for my touching by the way my touching this is not alcohol So the person is none other than none other than drum roll okay guys let me tell you what do i have to lose let me tell you i'm gonna tell you who the guy is guys the, man is. the person is none other than other than me than me than me none other than none other than mr i'll put his picture <laughs> I'm joking guys I don't have a boyfriend all those who wanted to know my relationship status all those who wanted to know who the guy is 
I don't have a boyfriend right now. I'm not in a relationship. I'm very much uh, not so in a guys, relationship. guys, that was all about the get to know me tag part two. You guys asked me a question on Instagram. If I didn't ask your question, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I just was trying to make sure that this video is not too long. But I did try to make sure that uh, the questions that were quite sim similar, I, I kind of like picked one of them you know and i really am grateful to each and everyone who asked me questions each and everyone who commented on my last video each and everyone who's engaging i really appreciate it i really do 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 appreciate it i really do appreciate it thank you so much don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share tell a friend to tell a friend to tell their other friend uh that tashinga is uploaded and um yeah 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 i will i won't forget about the head rep tutorial i think and a uh, lookbook and filming solo dates uh but apparently we're about to open schools but i'll make it up to you i will do it i will do it i will do it for y'all guys thank you so much down below comment don't forget to comment if you want me to do a head rep tutorial comment uh in the comment section and till then till then do show some grace to yourselves don't forget to show some grace to yourselves i love you so much and i appreciate you bye